Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I am taking you back to Oaxaca, Mexico. I'll be going to Monte Alban, which is an archeological site where the indigenous Zapotecs used to live way back when. This is my fourth video in my Oaxaca series, so if you want to watch the first three, I will link them down below. But today is all about Monte Alban. I'm also gonna be learning how to make alebrijes, just like the ones from the movie Coco. Before we begin, uh, if you're new here, welcome. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified next time I post a video. I post videos every week, so just come back next week for more. But after you're done watching this one. All right, let's go to Oaxaca. Monte Alban is located on the low mountain range above the plain in the central section of the valley of Oaxaca. To get to Monte Alban is about a 30 to 40 minute drive. You can go on your own with a cab or you can take a tour, which is what I did. I took a tour to Monte Alban. I was there for about an hour or two and then we drove to the town where the alebrijes are made and then we went to another town to learn how to make um, pottery. Monte Alban was home to the Zapotecs. It was founded around 500 BC and 80% of Monte Alban has been reconstructed over the years. There are several large monuments throughout the mountain of Monte Alban. It costs 75 pesos to get in. All the monuments are made with large carved stones and you are able to climb some of them. I'm gonna go on top of this pyramid, which you are allowed to go on. The steps on all of them are pretty steep and wide. It makes it much harder to climb. We'll see. Oh my God, this is so hard. These steps are so... I made it to the top. Gosh, I'm so out of shape. Going up those stairs. I just realized how out of shape I am. But the stairs were pretty steep and pretty, there was a lot of them. But you get to see a beautiful view once you get to the top. Okay, now let's go down, see how that is. More stairs that I have to go down. You can pretty much climb all the pyramids, all the temples. But it's like the steps are so wide and high, it's kind of scary going down. I feel like I'm gonna fall. Okay, I made it back down. It's it was 44 steps, but they were double the size of regular steps, so I'm gonna say they were 80 steps. But I made it down. If anyone's coming to Oaxaca and wants to see Monte Alban, I suggest you wear a hat. It gets really hot up here because you're on top of a mountain. I don't know why I didn't wear one, but just FYI, bring a hat and come to wishes. It also gets really hot up here, so bring some water. It is a beautiful archaeological site. I highly recommend you go to Monte Alban. I found out about the tour through my hotel and I'm sure every hotel has uh, tours that they offer so definitely go if you have a day to go to. Or if you have a few hours because it really just takes like three or four hours. After we were done, we went to a different town, which was about a 30 to 40 minute drive outside of Monte Alban. We went down the mountain this time to learn how to make alebrijes. Alebrijes are Mexican folk art sculptures of fantastical mythical creatures, just like this guy right here. This is the place where these guys are using their imagination in order to create these figures. 
they also need the help of these tools. They work with machines. So you have to manipulate a machine, it's very tough. And here they do it perfectly because they have all these years of experience. experience. And so they manage and they work very good with this very sharp machines and knives. Plus, if you're making it up as you go along, how could you make a mistake, right? Yes, exactly. But at the end, they have to come out like this. Yeah, they all have to be. Yeah, they do. Uh -huh. Alebrijes were created in Mexico City around the 1930s. They were created by a man called Pedro Linares. Mr. Linares fell ill and while he was unconscious, he dreamt of a forest-like place that was filled with mythical creatures, strange colorful animals like a turtle hat wings, and they were all shouting at him, Alebrijes. So when he woke up, he started carving all the animals he saw in his dream. His work was discovered and made famous by the artists Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo, and most recent by the Pixar movie Coco. In Pixar's Coco, Alebrijes are described as unique animals that serve as your spirit guide. I kind of like the description better, to be honest. And that was my trip to Monte Alban in Oaxaca, Mexico. And I hope you enjoy how to make alebrijes. If you ever, if you ever go to Oaxaca, I highly suggest you get yourself an alebrije so you can serve as your spirit guide on your way back. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. I post videos every week, so make sure to hit the notification bell so you can get notified next time I post a video. So until next week, bye.